it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you. I'm in the very cloudy, overcast town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada at a new place that's only been around for six months called Seven Skewers. I'd like to thank Carl uh, for requesting this on one of my videos in my vlog channel. If you haven't seen my vlog channel, please check it out. Uh, people like to come to my vlog channel and make requests on where to go for food. So obviously Carl must live in the area. He said, come to Seven uh, Skewers. I looked at their website and one of the coolest things on their website is Chicken Heart Skewers. I'm not kidding, Chicken Heart Skewers. So I thought I'd drop by today. Uh, the Chicken Heart Skewers dinner plate comes with uh, two skewers of chicken hearts, uh, rice, uh, one of the sides is rice that I picked, and the other side was, uh, or sorry, salad. And I got a bottle of water on the side, and that was $1.50, so uh, it came to $17.50 for this really cool meal. While I was standing there, the owner, because uh, I was asking lots of questions about the restaurant and stuff and he came over to me and gave me like a little mug of their minestrone soup and it was probably one of the best minestrone soups I've ever had in my life and it had chickpeas in it which was kind of neat so this is all the stuff that you get you get your little salad on the side then you get I guess a house dressing for your salad you get your knife and fork it's, it's a full restaurant, you can go in there, sit down, or you can take out. They're all, they're all ready to go, ready to serve you. And they get all their meats from Ontario. So if you live in this area and you like when restaurants buy local, and come to this place and try out their food. Uh, gave me, I guess, two man bread type things. I'm gonna take one out while we're, while I got it out, got it ready. And then we've got a meat sauce. You're supposed to dip that in there. She was educating me. The lady at the counter, I'm like, okay, what do you do with that? Okay, what do you do with that? Okay, that's the meat sauce, got it. Oh my gosh, that smells good. Here's a quick little story for you. If you don't mind my stories, I hope you don't mind my stories, but my dad's side of the family is Hungarian and my grandmother was a very good cook. Uh, she would make chicken heart and gizzard soup. So I'm not sure if you've been to the grocery store and you see all the different meats and you're in the chicken area. Sometimes I'll have that really interesting bag of meat and it's chicken hearts and gizzards and livers or whatever. So she would buy those and then make this amazing soup. And I haven't had chicken hearts in a long time. It's a very weird and eerie food to eat. Uh, I was I was debating on doing one skewer of chicken hearts and then one skewer of lamb, add another skewer of whatever, but Hey, this place I think is gonna have a lot of food reviews done at it. Um, so, oh my gosh. Let's do a close up of your chicken heart. There you go, wow. Another thing I think I'd like to do is uh, go back there. They have three different kinds of steak. Again, all Ontario steak. And I love to do like a little mukbang of the three different steaks and tell you which one I like the best. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe I'll talk to the owner about that. So there you go, chicken heart, dip it into this sauce and munch away. Mm. A very interesting flavor. Whatever they're marinated that in is just brilliant. I'm gonna try and get a little more veggies and stuff on the side, a little bit of rice, and then maybe dip it. So we've got some onions and chicken heart. I like these kinds of restaurants because you can see the guy cooking it. You can see all the food all laid out. Uh, they have like a glass case showing all the different kinds of meats in there. All the uh, the meats are put on metal skewers and then on the tops of the skewer they have all these really nice, neat designs and things. So it is a very cool looking restaurant. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be bringing my wife back here, try it out. No, this is not a sponsored video. I just enjoy these kinds of restaurants. Mmm. Nice and buttery. Mmm, nice rice. Looks like rice, carrots, and lots of butter. That is lovely. Mmm. More chicken heart. Mm-hmm. Kind of 
a bizarre thing to be eating. But I knew when I looked at the menu, this would be the one that probably would get the most views because it's crazy. I don't know anybody on the on YouTube who's reviewed chicken heart skewers. I'm the first that I know of. Anyway. Well, I guess you should be breaking bread. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if they steamed it just before they gave it to you. And he, he, no, I don't think I saw him do it. Just put it near the something that's boiling. This is giving that extra warm, fuzzy feeling in your stomach mm, and in your mouth. Now, I can't see me eating both of those breads. Let's give, let's give their salad a quick try. Again, the chicken heart, whatever they marinate that in, it's just over the top. Mm -hmm. so you, know, you can do fries, you can do this, you can do that. And I'm like, you know what? This kind of restaurant, I don't want to do fries. It's definitely like a vinaigrette type house. Look at that, eh? Super thick. Hmm. So it's just a mixed salad with red onions, which is going to give me nice onion breath. Cool things about these, you can just shut it again. Shake it up! Done! <laughs> Don't stir it. Who the hell stirs it? Hmm. Gonna get some of that onion. Some of that lettuce. Oh yeah. This is what gets views on YouTube, eating a salad. Mmm. Salad dressing's nice. A little sweet. Definitely has that vinegar flair to it. And all the lettuce seems to be nice and fresh. Tomatoes. For a long time I hated tomatoes. Love them now. Taste buds changed. Hmm. Back to the skewers. That's what we're here for. So if you live in Bradford, Barrie, Newmarket, drive over here and try out their chicken heart skewers. They have their liquor license too, so you could sit there and have a nice bottle of wine, bring your wife. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely bringing my wife here. She would enjoy this food. Mm. So check out their website. Look for other interesting, they have a shawarma. So maybe I can come back and do the shawarma. I make requests. I take requests, people. This one special shout out to Carl. Mm. That is awesome, man. I definitely want to come back and do their lamb. There's a few other things on there for sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try my hardest to polish all this stuff off. I won't be able to eat both of those nan breads. It's too much, too much carbs. But I'm going to try to eat as much as this as possible. Maybe half the rice, definitely all the meat. All right, are you ready? I'm hungry, I'm gonna polish the rest of this off, so hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, two points for Ken. Did it go in? Pretty much. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna give seven skewers a total recommend for the chicken heart skewers. The only thing that, that I might wanna not eat last would be my salad because the red onions are so powerful right now. That's the only thing I'm tasting uh, at the moment. So my recommendation is to eat your salad first, get it out of the way. 
and then indulge in your chicken heart skewers and rice. I pretty much ate all the skewers, rice, and the uh, underlying vegetables there, and about half the rice. I'm gonna eat the rest of the rice later, it's just too much food, which is a good thing. It's always good to have too much food. I only ate like that much of one of the breads. I still have a whole one left, but uh, yeah, I like to tell you exactly how much I've eaten out of it. So. Like I said, on my rain scale, seven skewers, I'm definitely gonna be coming back. They get a go out and get it now. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that video of this local restaurant in Bradford, Ontario, Canada, please hit the subscribe button right here so you don't miss another really cool local spot that you could try if you ever visit and click that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Hey guys, it's Ken from KB. <clears throat> Joke. Egg. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just sho shoving in my mouth. While I'm trying to talk. Well, there. I completely missed the bag. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.